Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acidy here again with you for another video. And as of yesterday, we did get some new information for one of the new operators coming in, Operation Blood Orchid being Legion. Ubisoft did another post in their blog revealing what his official loadout is going to be in terms of weapons and they also released one of those teaser trailers similar to what they did for Ying a couple days ago where they just kind of show off his gadget and give us a little bit more information as to what it does. This is going to be a shorter video I just kind of wanted to talk about it give my thoughts and opinions. They didn't give us all the details as to how his gadget is going to work so there's a lot that we're going to have to wait for and see on August 26th when they're going to do the live panels during Pro League. That is going to be prime time so make sure you tune into that and that way you'll be able to really understand the full extent of all the operators and their gadgets. I'm sure we'll also see something like this for Ella within the next few days. So keep an eye out on the Ubisoft official blog. I will play for you guys a couple times the teaser trailer that we did get for Legion. And what you guys will notice during the trailer is that he throws out these little canisters that latch onto the ground. And the top pops off and you'll see kind of some needles that has some poisonous material in it. As well as you'll see it kind of goes into like a cloaking mode similar to what Echo's drone does. But I do think that is a nice touch. I'm not quite sure how you'll be able to detect them. Whether you'll just be able to see them on the ground they're you know noticeable enough or if IQ or Thatcher can take them out something like that I did also want to note that you'll see he only throws them on the ground you don't really see him place them on the walls anywhere so they won't kind of eject out it looks like something that you're gonna have to directly walk over it seems like it might be a little difficult to place them in direct doorways I feel like they'll be very noticeable even with that cloaking ability and if you pay attention in the trailer they show five of them get deployed and the tops kind of pop off of them so we don't quite know how many you'll be able to use in a round. I'm not quite sure if we'll get five of these traps or if that's just the trailer showing some of them you know opening multiple times. We might get more or less of these but I'll be interested to see if we get five of them because that sounds like a lot but at the same time if they do have a very small effective range it will be nice to have a lot of them. So like I said there is a lot that we do not know. We don't know if when you step on this you'll be immediately injured put in the down but not out state. I don't think that will be the case or we also don't know if this will cause a bleed effect where you will over time be taking damage until you take the poison out or if you can even do that. There's definitely a lot of questions I have and that's to be expected. This is a teaser trailer. They're not revealing the whole gadget and everything it can do. If we think back to Velvet Shell when we had the Jackal teaser trailer for his gadget, they didn't even mention at all that you'll be able to scan the footsteps and be able to pinpoint exactly where the enemies are. So this is going to be interesting to see how these teasers show the gadgets and then the full extent of what we'll be able to do with these operators. As for the Ubisoft blog post, we did get information about Legion, kind of his little background story and how he ties into the SAS. They do talk about how he's a very tough operator and he doesn't really care for his own safety and just kind of makes him sound like a total badass. It is going to be interesting to see what kind of speed the operator is. Personally, I would think somebody who doesn't really care about their own safety might be like a three speed and they're just running around. But if you look at the operator, he has the big chest plate, which makes me think it might slow him down. So he might be somewhere in between with two armor, two speed. We honestly won't have any clue until they do a full reveal of the operator. And do keep in mind, he is a defensive operator for the Hong Kong DLC. And as I said in the previous video when talking about Ying, the theme here is just really slow down the offense. I know a lot of people like I said complain and we have trouble with the three speed just running in and doing whatever they want but now we're going to have a way to slow them down and I'm personally really excited for that. As for the weapons he is going to be getting the T5 SMG which is another weapon that you probably have seen in a battlefield game and this is a smaller bullpup SMG and then the other primary is going to be the 612 shotgun that we talked about before. Now something to note in the Ubisoft blog, it did say for Legion he will have the SD version, meaning it has a suppressor already on it and you can't take it off similar to Echo's MP5. And then when you look at Ying's post, it doesn't say it's the SD variant. I don't know if that's just kind of a typo or if one is suppressed and one's not. Again, we're just going to have to wait and find out. And they do share the same pistol, so Ying and Legion will both have the Q929. It doesn't seem like it's going to be anything special similar to the SAS pistol. But overall, I'm really excited for the new operators, new content. I know we've been praying for this for a while now. Again, for the full operator reveals, make sure you check into the Pro League Finals on August 26th. That's where they're going to be doing the live demos and give us more information on the operators. 
As for when the map and the operators will be available, they are available on August 29th for season pass holders only. That is specifically just the operators, but the map will be available to everybody. And then a week later on September 5th, everybody will have access to the operators and be able to buy them. I'm sure they'll cost the same 25,000 renown that all the other DLC operators did. I don't see anything changing with that, but that will pretty much wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. Again, if any other information comes out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Feel free to comment down below. Maybe let me know which operator you guys are most excited for, whether that's Legion, Ella, or Ying. I'm curious to find out. Mine, I think, will be Legion. Normally, I like the attackers a little bit more, but I think Legion's gadget seems like a lot of fun, as well as his SMG looks pretty cool. But with all of that said, as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.